Hi, this is Lisa Janfern with Youthful Nest, and I am back in the baby number two's nursery. We are doing a beautiful makeover. We're gonna go from blah to babylicious. Now, we started with step number one, and that was to paint the entire room this beautiful, fresh, creamy white. It also makes for a beautiful and clean canvas. So we are going to recreate a wallpaper look that the, the homeowner really liked, but didn't want to commit to. And they also thought it was a little bit over their budget. So I suggested, again, this, this fun wallpaper look could be done. Here's all these little precious little moons. You can kind of see it. And I suggested that we do it with wall stencils. So we have these great stencils from Stencil Revolution. Little moons, we've done some testing. There's pink moons. We have pink little stars. We have different size moons because in the mural, there's different sizes. That's a really big one. Hello, moon, I see you. And then we just have some, some inexpensive sponge. That's gonna be what we use to just take a little bit of paint and just kind of dab the color in there. I did get this art brush. I'm not sure that I'm gonna need it, but it could be used. I'm gonna wear some gloves because as you've learned, I'm a messy painter and maybe you've seen me get a little bit here and there. So I've got some gloves to keep my fingers clean. So for about $50 in stencils, um, we're only gonna use a quart of this beautiful pink, pink blush pink paint. And this is a sample jar, about $9 or $10, a little gray. So we're gonna use some of this paint. And we already had some painter's tape, so we don't need to buy that again. And so you're talking about maybe um, a quart of paint, you're talking less than $75 or so for the stencil supply. So the stencil and the paint and the little sponge. Pretty good deal. The actual wallpaper runs about 400 plus for a 10 by eight wall. This is a 12 by eight wall, so that would have run them probably closer to five or five or $600. I've started by taping my inspiration nearby. If you have an iPad or a computer nearby or some, or your phone, you can keep that inspiration if you're kinda trying to copy a look, like we're taking this wallpaper and trying to recreate it. Um, I'm gonna keep it right here nearby so I can look at it. And I've taped up a few stencils. Now I'm starting low on the wall, and that's kind of strategic. Um, I tested it out yesterday and it went pretty well, but there's some things I wanna keep working on, and I figured if it's right here in the middle behind the crib, that might be a good place to start. Okay, so we've got our paint colors. Don't forget to shake, 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 or stir. We've got a stir here, so I'll get those colors mixed up. Make sure you shake. Even the little ones, we've got the little guy here. And these are little samples. These are like eight to $10 sample colors. This is a quart, so it's less expensive. You will use so little paint on this wall mural, it's gonna be pretty insane. So you don't need a lot of paint. You can use leftover paint from you know gallons that you have or other projects. So think about what you have maybe that you could reuse. I've had the little jar, little can of paint, and my sponge, I wanna be able to get a nice little coating and it won't fit in there. So to keep things less messy, I've opened this little container here, and these are like my old, um, baby food containers for snacks and it has a lid so if you don't finish the paint or you need, you need to take a break just put that lid on there and you're ready to go for later now other thing I um so I'm gonna also reshape my sponges these are just came from this big block this really inexpensive block of um, sponge and I'm just gonna pick out a little bit so um, the, the, the paint that I put on here will be in a little more organic shape and not so rigid and straight And I always have nearby my handy dandy baby wipes because I'm already getting paint on me and I haven't even started painting yet. Okay, I'm actually gonna start layering in the gray first. Got my little gray here. Just think that putting the gray in the bottom might be a nice little base. And I'm looking at my inspiration that's right here. And I don't definitely think that it's gonna be nice. You can, you can paint it on and then come back in and sponge it so it's got the nice texture. And what I realized in my um, test yesterday was that I don't want to have too much gray, but I want to have a little bit in some of the, a few spots, like there's these little 
spots of gray that make it look more mottled and more moon-like. So I'm just gonna start with that little bit of gray. It doesn't seem like very much. Um, it's really, really light, super light. And then I'll put a little bit in there too. And I'll go back in and I can see how they've got some darker spots. But I wanna keep it light. You can always go back in and add more. So layering, layering, layering. And make sure that you don't get the paint outside the, um, the stencil area so you don't get any straight, harsh, straight lines. Otherwise you have to do a lot of retouching with the original um, white wall paint color. And don't waste any paint. Um, I've got a lot of paint on the lid that I just opened the paint. And I'm just gonna use that to start you know, my color. And make sure you don't go outside the lines. This is where that is a good lesson to have learned in preschool. Um, as much as I like to be creative and encourage creativity, if you go outside the lines here on this stuff, you'll see it and it won't look very good at all. So we're just gonna dab it in. Dab, 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 dab. Okay, so I'm going to take off this first stencil. You don't have to wait until it completely dries, but we're just gonna take it off. So we've taken off the first stencil. And here's all the little details I was saying. It's got, it's pretty cute. I think it came out well. And one of the things I like, I think I'm gonna do more, is there's a little bit of space, a little bit of white here from the wall color. And use the wall color as part of your design. So don't fill in the stencil completely with color. Here's the other one. Take this one off too. It's really good. Okay, take this one off too. Pretty cute. Okay, hey there. So this is what I love about doing your own DIY projects and using paint because you can change your mind pretty easily. And I'm starting to change my mind, but might need some opinions. Okay, so we're not going with the gray and the pink. The homeowner and I decided to just go with pink. We both think it's much prettier and, and cleaner. And so I'm going to remove all the other areas where there's gray and just keep the pink ones. So in order not to waste too much paint color, I'm gonna use just a sponge. And we're gonna touch over, right over the gray. You can still see the pink. I'm not really wasting too much wall color. And we'll just do that and then go back over with the pink. Hey guys, I'm done with the mural. We repainted over the gray and pink and just did pink. Mom preferred the pink and so do I. And this is how much paint we used to do an entire 12 by eight wall. Probably could have used a sample. Hi, it's Lisa Janvren and I am back in baby number two's nursery. We are on step number three of this nursery makeover. Today we're gonna to bring functionality and fabulous style to this changing table area. Now there are four reasons why I like to hang a wall mirror in a nursery. Number one, when you're getting your baby to sleep and you spend a lot of time, you give the baby a lot. Number two, you get a, doesn't wanna do that. Number three, babies. And number four, we'll look at this and check out this mirror. I mean, how fabulous is this? 